Well, hi guys, uh, Jamie McIntyre here. For those who don't know me, uh, best-selling author of the book come out 20 years ago now, uh, what I didn't learn at school but wish I had, and uh, the creator of 21st Century Education. And if you haven't heard by now, we've partnered recently with uh, 21st Century University. So I wanted to let you know a little bit about what you can learn at 21st Century University. Uh, and if you like some of the things you can learn, um, you can actually take advantage in just a moment of a 30 day free trial, watch as much as you can as hundreds and hundreds of hours of videos, learn all the different strategies you want. I wish I'd learned this education at school, financial intelligence, emotional intelligence, uh, how to design your life, how to discover your ideal purpose in life. What well, you know, life must have meaning to, you know, to be fulfilled, uh, not just to be rich. If you want to be richer, but rich spiritually and financially, you know, I know, I, you know, know many people that are, have made money but are miserable the key is to be happy and fulfilled in life but also be abundant so uh why not have both so let me share a little story that i uh, often shared true story of mine and you might relate to this is what um sometimes we do uh with my good friend eric bailey who helped you found 21st century university for an, former nbo um player from america basketball player and a motivational speaker today and uh we often will have done over the years free uh, youth summit charities. So the high schools would send by the bus loads in the nine year twelve students, so they can learn, you know, in a day uh, uh, some of the education that we teach at twenty first century uh, to help them better prepare for the future. And uh, I, you know, the differences with this sort of education is that school is a nineteenth century concept. School started in the industrialization era. Uh, where they realized they needed lots of factory workers to so teach. School was designed, if you realize this, to teach people to conform. The alarm goes off, go to class, obey, follow instruction, don't think for yourself. Uh, it teaches conformity, which is one of the things that holds so many people back because in the 21st century, hey, if you conform too much, you're not going to be valuable. You need to be able today, businesses and and in jobs and careers, we need people that can think for themselves, critically think. The world needs critical thinkers as well. But creative thinking to be able to solve problems, to be able to come up with new ideas, create apps, you know, all do all these things that can enhance our society. Um, so, but it's, what what we find is that most education school is fear based, you know, and you don't really learn. You actually memorize. Let's face it, most of the things that we memorize to pass an exam, if we had to reset that exam today. Uh, we didn't have no hope of repassing, is it true? Even a month later, most of us would have forgot. Memorizing is not learning. So so here, let me share you a story of, of helping people make up their own mind. You, you know if you're told what to do, we rebel and want to do the opposite. So uh, if you tell a young person, look, don't buy a car, uh, save your money and invest, because when you're 30 or 40, you could be a self-made millionaire, even though that sounds exciting, a lot of people are going to go, well, I want a car because why a car equals freedom? Although for the average person, their first purchase of a car, they borrow for it, ends up leading to the opposite of freedom, ends up to financial being trapped into debt. And for many people, they never get out of that debt until the day they die. Um, so here's what happened to me. When I was a teenager, I started my first business at 15. I'd made a, quite a bit of money, grew up on a farm. And I employed my schoolmates and cousins uh, with a sweet turnip business, like a, a vegetable. Sweet turnips are used in soup and we'd sell them to the Brisbane markets. And, and I learned a lot about that and I saved up that money. So I was a good saver. But my brother, older, one of my older brothers had a dream of fast cars. So, and I was influenced into putting all that money into a, a, a car. Because of a car, if you're at high school, having your own car is pretty cool, right? But anyhow, here's a story. Here's a difference about whether you can become a millionaire at 30 uh, I don't know how old you are now. Let's say you're, you're 18 now and be me now 30. Here's one example of how you can do that. Now, if you're already uh, 30, here's how you can be a me now 40. Simple, and it's actually very simple, by the way. It's not easy, but very simple. So I had a choice when I was a teenager to put that money into a car, what most people do, or that money I'd saved up. I could have bought the farm next door to my family's farm. Now, this farm was quite cheap at the time. Um, but it was 3,000 acres of forest, pretty much undeveloped, but it was going for $17,000. Now, obviously back, this is back in, what, the late 80s. Um, that, that was still a decent amount of money then. So, but instead of, I ended up spending that money I'd saved up and put it into a car. When, now the difference is, guess how much that car is worth to, to this day? Have a guess. Well, of course, you know, a car back, this is talking back, you know, 30 years ago, um, of course, it'd be worth nothing today. And my brother actually ended up crashing it. So definitely ended up becoming a zero much sooner than that. Um, but guess how much that farm that is worth today? The farm is worth about a million dollars.
So they're just that one decision of I done differently. Instead of investing in a car, which goes down in value, invest it into a piece of land, be worth a million dollars a day. So how do I know what it's worth today? Because I ended up buying it many years later when I had a lot more money and bought it for $350,000. So I could have bought that as a teenager and become a millionaire from one decision. Does it make sense? So I want you to think about that. Um, most people want to be rich, but they're not prepared to make the decisions early on that can help you become rich. So most people are trying to get rich quick. Most wealth will take five, six, 10 years. Most people overestimate what they can accomplish in 12 months, but underestimate what they can accomplish in a decade. And that's what we really must understand. Some short-term pain equals long-term pleasure. Short-term pleasure often leads to long-term pain. That applies in many aspects of life, but particularly money. So that's just one of the many things because psychology and mindset is critical to helping you go from wherever you are now. If you do want to become a millionaire or just have more abundance in your life or just redesign your life the way you want and just not have that financial stress, uh, there is many, many strategies you'll learn. So take advantage, 21stcenturyu.com, 21stcenturyu.com. Go get your free trial now. Watch as much as you can. There's over two dozen uh, lecturers. Now, any lecturer to get on stage at 21st Century University has to have a PhD in results. We don't do PhD in theory. You can go to school and you can go to university and pay an absolute fortune and learn all people with a theory, but theory doesn't cut it. Like um, a good friend of mine, she did a business, an international business, a marketing degree, um, but in Sydney, ironic thing, her lecturers had to catch trains to work and had never built a business in their life. Now, how the hell can those lecturers teach someone how to do marketing and international business? It's, a, it's actually fraudulent, really. Imagine if you pay to go to 21st Century University and our lecturers had never built a business before. I'll give you an example of some of the lectures that you'll learn from. Uh, it'll do it in, in the next post I'll do, I'll share a classic example of uh, a lecturer that spoke for us eight years ago, had just started a little internet business and I'll tell you about how he's built that into $1.3 billion business. Mm, $1.3 billion business, Australian. Uh, multi-millionaire. You'll learn from people such as Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, a, a, a gentleman I've looked up to for many years and I hosted the 21st century back in 2013. How about Sir Richard Branson? Not a bad lecturer. Huh? Someone that's be, built nine billion dollar companies. What about Tim Ferriss, four hour work week, best-selling author? Tim, life hacking, you gotta get to learn off him. Mark Boris, the Australia's Donald Trump, The Apprentice. These are the sort of caliber of people. Uh, sports stars, all range of different people from different walks of life. 21st Century University, they're all on video, hundreds and hundreds of hours of videos, 30 day free trial. And if you like it and you can't watch it all, then you wanna keep on learning, $59 a month, folks. That's all that will cost to invest in your education. So don't pay tens of thousands of dollars just at uni to learn off fraudsters, really. People that have never delivered in their life, have never, and no offense to the lecturers, you're getting paid, but it's like, have you ever built a business? Have you ever become wealthy? Have you ever done it? They haven't. They can't teach you what they don't know. Talk to you soon, 21stCenturyU.com.